Hello and welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Fevers Raccoonus with me, the Biscuit Boy. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. Sorry about that small little audio glitch there. I forgot on the new mic settings. If I'm doing a YouTube game, my TV has to go through all like wireless earphones. Luckily, I own about four or five pairs of wireless earphones, so that's fine. Although the pair I'm using now only seem to have the left side working. So let's hope there's no audio that's needed to indicate something from the right. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing Sly again. I bought PlayStation Plus again because I wanted to finish off Sly. Me and Kibi are doing a thing soon to do with PlayStation, which I will not um, spoil. I was hoping to have the trailer for it done by now, but I am a slow, slow editor. Aren't I, Editor Biscuit? Um. Would you look at that? A fireworks show! Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. Well, it's probably deserving it. They're probably like some of the people who it is in call here. His yours. What is that guy flinging at me? I, I know it's like a creature in a snowball, but what creature is it? I can't tell. What are you? You're an owl? Are you an owl? You're a monkey chewing an owl at me? Oh, look at that. Oh, hell yeah, cute. He's tickling there and I just... It's it. <laughs> Oops. It was actually a cute moment and I ruined it. I'm guessing I don't die if I fall down there. Is that just where I started? Oh god, the black on me is actually breaking under me. No! I grabbed that fly! How dare you! did it. At last. I'm just getting worse and worse at this game. What's going on here? Oh, I have to go the sneaky uh, sly way, obviously, because I'm a thief, not someone who can break down a door. I have no idea what I was trying. Can I break it now? No, okay, so we just can't break that door ever. These would be one of the worst ways to die. Impaled by like a giant icicle. Because I feel like not only are the pain of getting cut open by the giant icicle and it like penetrating your flesh, but I think the ice cold nature of the icicle would also cause quite a lot of agony. But they're monkeys, they're shooting monkeys. They're monkeys shooting monkeys. Oh, that was... Yep. No, that was quite good. I always forget that little Sly symbol goes towards wherever Sly is. Oh, I can go invisible. I forgot about that. I forget I've got powers as well. Or like abilities or whatever they're called. Can they actually hit me or is it like a deterrent sort of thing? No, not that one. Actually, that was quite cool. One. Uh, I want this one. No! Ah, come on. 
This is what I wanted to do. This doesn't mean I can roll into enemies as well to hurt them. No, it doesn't. I thought I saw the lightning men again. No. Oh, uh, I decoy up. Okay. No. Oh. Oh, There we go. Finally got him. Can I hit these? Oh, that's so cool. I was kind of expecting one of them to make like a slicing board in the air or something. That's like a little Easter egg. That's not. What are you? You have a very big sword, my friend. I bet you're still one hit. Yeah. This is so funny to me. It, it's fair as well, though. That, that's what's even better. It's like, I'm one hit to die, but they're also one hit to die. So I can't complain. It's very fair. And honestly, the game didn't have to do that. The game could have made the enemies, like, take a couple of hits or need to be the right ability used. It would make it interesting, but also it'd be so unfair if you didn't have the ability unlock. The ability, not ability. I can't speak, apparently. So I've gone all posh. What happens when one can't speak? One just goes posh. Oh, really? Oh, that's actually really cool. Can I get up this bit? Thank you. So we're just going to get down into there. There's like pots and stuff in there. Plus... Oh, like that, yeah, cool. I was gonna say plus it might be... Uh, clues. Oh, that's the safe. Oh, I've missed a lot of clues, or there's a lot of backtracking to fill this safe? So same as always, Bedley. Like, Bedley, you are extremely helpful, but it is just the same thing, like, get all the keys, fly, so you can infiltrate the facility. I'm guessing they change it up quite a bit in the second one, from what I've read. Going on a mad one there. I almost got all of them. No, my mad one is over. I guess I should be sneaky. Treat like Hitman. I've got to assassinate them all. Sly Cooper, the original Hitman. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure. Hitman has come out before this. No! Oh, did they actually forget? Oh, God, that's awesome. Is it because I went to the checkpoint or did they just normally forget after a while anyway? That's all I've dealt with. So, I can get all these bottles in peace now. No, you can probably just like climb up there and run across and get all the bottles by walking into them, but I do not trust myself trying to do that. I don't know for a fact I'm full the edge of the map. I quite like the mix of like techno and traditional music that's going on here right now. Like, he adds an air of mystique to it all. The four bottles. Four green bottles sitting on the wall. Hmm. I don't know if the audio just got really better there or not. I did turn. I just turned down the game. It sounded fun on my test, but I was worrying. 
But the audio either got a lot better there or a lot worse. Let me know, Editor Biscuit. He's just becoming a new feature. <laughs> You know what's funny? He's just me. In the future. No! Alright, so there's two bottles remaining. I don't have the bottle find feature for this area of the game yet. No. I feel like I'll just actually find them myself, but I don't think I'm backtrack can I? Oh I can. But how far can I backtrack is the question. To answer the question how far back, I can go all the way back and look where the, la the last two were, right at the beginning. Isn't that wonderful? I now have to do the whole level again basically. Luckily you get to skip it. Here we are. not just make the game extremely easy now well uh, I guess oh, yeah, you walk so slow yeah no I don't have to keep doing my technique of just bashing them in the face it seems to be working One not got like a hub world. It's just continuous levels. I oh, know they were like an introductory level, didn't they? Yeah, I always forget about that. Because once you get to the hub world, I very quickly forget about that intro level. Some of the hub worlds feel more hmm, correct. Unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. Like, I think the first hub would probably be the best one. King of the Hill. This is this gonna be like a well match of King of the Hill in like any video game, like Halo and stuff like that? Murray's all fired up to make the run for the key. While on the blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. Oh yeah, because Bentley levels always go well, did not they? Hey Bentley. Move, oh, God, it's inverted. I forgot. All right, cool. This is going to take a couple of attempts, because you got to sort of know where they're coming from. Because they like to be sneaky about it, don't they? This one's proper zoomed in, can I not zoom out? Oh, I can. They're monkeys with nunchucks, that's really cool. 
I've got to remember I can hurt him, so I've got to be careful. Oh, am I gonna do this first time? Don't, don't get cocky, biscuit. Don't get cocky. He's gonna be like a sniper, like last time or something. I'm gonna throw like ninja stars. That's halfway. Oh god. These ones seem to be a lot easier to hit than previous things. I guess these ones had guns, like they were ranged, so you know they could shoot him before I had time. What's wrong? Oh god, no! Really? After all that, you set off the alarm, you stupid hippo. Oh, is he asleep? That's quite funny. The unforeseen foe. Is he going to be Carmelita? Is she going to show up? Oh, sexy foxy girlfriend. Quite a good trick. Quite a good trick. Yeah. Get on that tree. Hey, there's clearly stuff up there. How do I get on that? Uh, being able to move while invisible is actually a lot better than I'm guessing you just have to stand still normally it's only slow movement but still it makes it so much better Oh yeah, we did it, Sly baby. I wonder if they are gonna do the other Sly games. It would make sense, because this one seemed to have gone down like a tree. And from what Gibby's told me, they fixed the uh, problem that was happening before. 
Also, can you tell me, you know that fight where I died a lot, like against the stinging crocodile? Turns out, um, you could just spam the buttons. Like, you didn't have to time them, you could just spam them. And as long as you're pressing it when it pops up, it's fine. So, I died uh, 41 times for no reason. Uh. Oh, that section haunts me to this day. Oh, I walked just slow enough. Ah, oh, you cheeky boy! He got me fair and square though. To be honest there, he did get me fair and square. I might turn the game down a little bit more because I feel like the whacking stuff is getting... How to balance this audio stuff? Not easy. Not easy at all. Especially because I keep switching between games. So I had it like balance for Ratchet and Clank and now it's sly. Although given that they share a lot of audio similarities in my opinion, I feel like they should have been on par with each other. Although I, I am playing the PS2 version of Ratchet and Clank, so that could be the issue. Did you just jump through me? Oh, he's a ninja. He's dead now, but still, it's cool. Oh my god, oh, oh you sidewinded me. Oh, I'm 18 away? God, I'm so many away. This level must be a lot bigger than I thought. Oh no, no, no! I'm so glad I'm not doing like a total death count for these ones. Like every death. I feel like it's, it's only in the major death section that I'll do the death count for because if it was every death it'd be ridiculous. The way he was chewing there was actually irritating me so I'm so glad we got to take that one out. No! Oh. I was gonna die. Evidently not. Okay, I would have missed those otherwise, so it's kind of good I fell. I would have missed those. Oh, I guess that's how you meant to normally get him, just jump down, but. No. I am sneaky sly. I can go invisible and hit you in the face. Well, now, how do I get to those? Now, how do I get to them? Well, I guess we got to hope that I come back. Oh no, how am I going to do this? Slowly. <laughs> very, very slowly. Reminds me of that bit out of Addy G where they sneak past the lasers and then it just cuts to guards walking past this exact same bit and nothing happening. <laughs>there's a line in Ali G where it's like we have to sneak past the um, floors and run into the pillar to unlock the underwater level like in Tomb Raider 2. The Great Hall is exactly like the one in Lara Croft's house, you know, in Tomb Raider 2 on PlayStation.
So Dave, if you run at the pillar, that will take us through to the underwater kingdom and onto the next level. And I'm wondering, is that how you unlock? Is that actually how you unlock the wall level in Tomb Raider 2, or was it just a line for Ali G? Because if it's actually how you unlock it, that's actually kind of cool. But like, my knowledge of that game would just be from an Ali G film. I've got five more bottles to get. Am I meant to have had all the bottles by now? Or am I meant to come back to this roof once I've done this laser section? Just climbing back all the way to the roof. That's kind of annoying. But I guess I'm gonna have to. Fly, this pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production plant. Judging by the scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives. Did this a lot better than the one in the first level. Oh no, that just gives me the key. I don't want the key. I need bottles. No! No, it's like a mouth, so I can't even... No... I'm going to have to come back for bottles, you know. I guess I'll come back after I get the ability to loof where they are. Panda King's area is a lot more linear compared to the Swamp one. Although I kind of like that. Nice little break from the Swamp one. You got it, Bentley. I will. Oh my little slide oh. oh why would I get yeah, those bottles? No, right, why would I try and do that perfect? <laughs> there are bottles! You sneaky game. You're trying to make me miss the bottles. Jesus in. Oh no, don't, don't. No, why can't I do these ever? Why can I never do these? There we go. No! I get over there. Oh, when I get up there, I gotta jump down. Okay, I gotta remember that. Oh, I can't use my sneaky powers while on this bit. Well, that was relatively easy though. Oh no, a swing and a oh, there's a thing down there. I don't mind if I do. And there's look secret path. Yeah, I would have missed that. We explore. Oh, everyone who plays video games. Well, I feel like that's gaming 101 is you never go where you're meant to. Oh no, it's the same sort of setup jump, but there's lasers of death. Oh, at least I did it right that time. I was wondering what would happen if he walked into me while I was invisible, but then I just thought, ah, oh, screw it, I'm gonna hit. How dare you, Lady Monkey? She's quite cute, actually. That would have made Childhood Biscuit confused. That would have been one of those characters that confused Childhood Biscuit. I think Carmelita would have as well. <laughs> 
don't know if I was that one. Like the robot from Ratchet and Clank does. Not Clank. Not Clank. I don't mean Clank. Oh god, Edited Biscuit, save me here. I don't want people to think I'm weird. But what do I mean? Based on Britney Spears. It kind of makes sense for a person of my age. No. Can I? No, okay, so I can't. What's going on here? Do I get to battle them at some point? Or are they just doing their training forever? I guess they're just doing their training? Guess I'll just let them train. There are two of them. All the power to them. Just keep training, boys. Well, I really thought something would happen if I hit the gong. They're really dedicated, didn't they, to their training? It's like nothing will disturb us. You hit our gong, or well. Oh no! Oh look, I didn't die. Fine. Falling is fine. Okay, cool. Try not move around too much because as much as the new mic settings has made my audio a lot better, it's made my mic a lot more sensitive to the stuff around me. And so I have to use wireless earphones on my TV now rather than just being um, playing my TV out loud. But it's like swings and roundabouts. There are benefits, but there's negatives too. Oh wait, that's the way to go. I don't want to go the way to go. Well, I'm going to jump down here so it's fine look i'll make it back up because i'm no let's try that again no or just use the platform provided biscuit you know that'd be a lot easier hey i got to use one of these that's cool i like that no, you get back up there because there's balls. How many times am I going to do this dragon dude? Hmm, I broke it that time. Here we are, getting these balls. Would have missed those three, I would have been three short. So I just don't get to fight the red monkeys at any point. I'm disappointed. That felt really cool to do. <gasps> ah, it's the lady monkeys. Oh god. No! I need the platform! No! Come back! Come back to me! Oh, reusable fireworks! Really? That's cool. I hate fireworks in real life. Oh, you didn't used to, but now they're just... They're, they're off too often for too many different events or random times just for early. They used... When I was growing up, they were like... Three times a year, which was like bonfire night, New Year's, and um, oh no, yeah, no, that was it. Bon yeah, that's no, two times. Bonfire night and New Year's, and then it, all the other celebrations that were going on throughout the year had their own ways of celebrating it and like their own traditions of celebrating it, which was nice. And now it just seems to be every little celebration. Oh, let's get fireworks. Boom, 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 boom. Super loud up till like 2, 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. Who gives a fuck? It's like, oh, I give a fuck. I'm half asleep. Especially on Saturdays. I know most people like don't work. Uh, once Friday comes along, they're like, yeah, it's Friday. Party time. Weekend free. I don't get that. I work Saturdays. Let me sleep. They look like little G's, and I'm wondering, are they meant to look like little G's? Are they meant to look like 
monkey tails or am I just... I feel like sometimes I put too much thought into everything, even the little environments. I do... I have just realised, and I do like the fact the coins change, depending on where you are. Now they've got little, like, panda prints. That's actually cool. I didn't pay attention to what they look like in all the other ones. Edison Biscuit, give me a visual. Don't they look nice? He better have edited that in now, or I'm going to look like an idiot. Oh, have I missed some? Have I missed some again? Where have we done everything? How many am I missing? Se I was about to say seven now, I'm missing two. Oh, where could those two be? Once again, I will come back once I get the uh, binoculars that let me know. Although this could be the one that gives me the binoculars that let me know where they are. Oh, it's a horrible trap, I just realised. Keep saying I'll come back till I get the binoculars, but then the binoculars are behind one of these things. I'm sort of just hoping on the fact that the one I get all the bottles in is the one with the binoculars. Oh no. Oh, screw it. I've not got time. Yummy coins. That could have been good merch for this. Just release all the coins as like collectibles. Like like people would I would collect those. I've calculated the trajectory of these rockets and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. Once again, Bentley, just like normal, get the three and then get the seven. <laughs> This is so long. Yeah, they could have made those coins a little collectibles. You could buy, like, the Jackie Tan talismans. For anyone who remembers those, they were amazing. But the Jackie Tan talismans you could collect when you was a kid, and you got, like, the box that came with them. Or did you have to buy the box separately? I think the first issue you collected them with had the talisman and the box. Like, talisman one and the box. Oh, no, not more rating. Could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly. They're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right. Remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boosts you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the advice, Sly. But trust me, I got this under control. No, that's an ice cream cone, not a snow cone. Uh, also, we don't have this under control, Bentley. We suck at these. It took us so many times last time. Although the monkeys seem to be worse drivers. We might have this Bentley Mill Bean. Because these monkeys can't drive for shit. Oh yes, I'm getting overly cocky. But I feel like I deserve to be. Look, the monkeys are... I think it's the slippery ice patches that screw the monkeys. Oh my god, this is so much easier than the first race. What the actual fuck? What the actual hell? Why is this so much easier? Oh, I messed that up. But still, why is this so much e Why is the first race so much harder? Actually, I kind of like that the first one was harder. Because then, like, I've done the hard one. Look, this one's easy. If I do this first time, I'm going to... I don't know. Put an image of my face up. And the editor basically, we're not actually going to do that. 
just just die. No. No. I'm holding X, and I don't know if X is actually making me go or if it's just the stick, but I'm gonna hold X. I'm gonna keep holding X just in case. Because you never know. And why risk it? Don't know if this has halo control or not for vehicles. The audio keeps coming out every once in a while for my ear. I really hope it's not doing that for you. But I don't know. I'm not you. First time, baby. I'm not going to say that was my skill. I'm going to say that one is a lot easier than the first race. It's a lot easier than the first race. This whole panda era has been a lot easier than the last year. Like, the swamp era was the hardest so far. Duel by the dragon. This one... Sounds like it's going to be hard. Because it's a dragon. And it's a, and there's 40. There's 40 bottles to get. Oh, it's going to be a long one, isn't it? Hello, me old bean. Freeze, raccoon. How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same and none of you can escape justice. I am sorry, but his uh, his opening line there was so smooth, even I swooned. But God, she has a heart of ice. The fact that that line did not affect her, it was so smooth. I was like, Sly, I will be your girlfriend if she won't. Like, put a ring on it, Mr. Raccoon. But damn. I could learn a thing or two from Sly. <laughs> Maybe then I wouldn't be alone. <laughs> oh god, what? No, no, I don't oh, I don't know what to do. I fell. Bottles. I <laughs> should like, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I go this way? I go this way. No! Oh no. This is going to be hard, isn't it? No! <laughs> you can break them, you little bitch! Any broken ice platforms later. <laughs> to redo that bit a number of times. Kind of mad that she can break it, and that bit seems to be rather important. Oh, it's not. It's just two separate ways to do the same thing. Okay. Seriously, I've got her shooting me and the guy attacking me, and she's still like she could at least shoot him. No, you're trying to keep me alive. He's trying to kill me. So, you know, kill him. Kill him. Uh. Ah! Hey, I'm alive still. Oh, God. I thought, what, what do I do? It's like, it's not... It's time to go slowly now. Like I should be up there, and I'm not up there. And that's worrying for me. This is one of those like a backtrack around sections. Can you stop shooting me, please? I'm not as bad as you think. These people are worse. I'm a good criminal. They're bad criminals. Oh, do I need a?
she looks so big up there like way bigger than she should like no she, her, her model right now is way bigger than it should be and i'm guessing they're trying to do like a perspective thing so it looks like she's further away but no she's giant am i right like come on she if you put fly next to her right now I think they're trying to do like a distance perspective thing, but she's too close for it to work. Do not put swings on a bit where I'm running away from this woman. I can't do the swings. We've all learnt this. Oh, I actually got all the things. Don't shoot the ones I'm not. On. Oh, they come back. I didn't know that. But still, don't shoot the ones I'm not on. That's just not on. Please be the binocular upgrade, please be the binocular upgrade. Incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. Oh my god, that is amazing. So now I can whim and... I won't die from falling. It's the game is slowly making Sly invincible. Soon I just get one that would, won't let me get damaged by being hit by enemies and then I'm going to be good. How did she survive that? Nice little lift. Oh god. Nice little lift. Oh, it's another one of those bike sections. I worry about the audio in these sections, so I'm going to actually turn the game audio down quite a bit. So the game might be a lot quieter now, but that pew pew bit last time was... I can just leave. I just back out the level. That's a thing. Didn't know that. Skills must be providing these guys with hardware. The fifth member of the Fiendish Five, perhaps? Remember, use the left analog stick to move and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. You know, I bet that cannon is powerful enough to blow down those heavy security doors. It kind of looked like it was melting a little bit. God, it's so loud still. Even with me turning it down so much. Oh my god, let me turn down even more. Oh, I got killed. This is hurting my ear so bad. I've already had the boss spoiled for me, sadly, so I know like the whole tech reason. Um, it would have been really interesting if he wasn't spoiled for me. Uh, but you know, my own fault. I, I, I was looking into. Okay, that wasn't that interesting. So it's fine if you guys can't fully hear him. No, but yeah, I was looking up the costumes in the later games that Sly can be dressed up in, because I do like costumes and outfits and stuff. 
uh, and I spoiled the final boss of this game for myself, which sucks. Because it does sound like a really interesting twist. Not really going to be like a death counter section for this one, I'll tell you, uh, for this episode, I guess. Because unless the final boss I die a bunch, I, I think the most I died in a row was like five on that bridge. If it was five. Oh my god, I need to focus on one to shut one, but then there's too many monkeys. That bit sucked so bad. Did not like it. Did not enjoy. No enjoyment. Oh, right, I forgot I've got to shoot the doors down. Oh, they're like ramps that I can destroy. Hmm. I don't know if, how much I'm enjoying this section or not. It's quite like mind numbing. Sometimes a mind numbing section can be nice. Switch off. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I'm not, I realise that this episode is going to be not as good as the other ones because I'm not as high energetic and being cuckoo the Cocoa Puffs. It's not quite in me today, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. And everything else. Come on, you monkeys! Oh. Yeah, this is just annoying. This is just standard shooting this. Like, if I was the one who designed that, I would have made that fall, like, you break the bottom bit and the whole thing would have just fell down, like, ah! And you get the key, rather than... Doing it that way. Oh, so those two bottle bits I missed. One of those will be like where all the bottles are, and one one of those won't. I might as well just go face the boss, and I'll get the bottles some other time between the episodes, because that's all of them, right? All the keys. That's all seven. If I'm not mistaken. So much more satisfying doing them all at once. What happened if I forgot to grab it? Flame food. That sounds epic. I see you carry Kane of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the Thievius Raccoonus? That was my plan at first. But now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still... To honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. I'm just, that's nice of him to sort of offer to do that. But this guy, I just have to get up to him smack the, and smack the shit out of him. Good to know. I think we might have found the death count section. Getting up to him ain't that hard. It's just once I get there and I whack him, he does that. Oh. Okay. Is he gonna jump off somewhere? This doesn't seem too bad, it's just long. Ah, he does. He pushes me away so I can go back up. Just jump the opposite way of him and you're fine. I don't know why you need those, um... Yeah, I don't know why you need that, um, those things to jump behind, because you just... 
jump the opposite way of his fireball. They all consist of just jumping away from him. Doesn't matter which one he does, just jump away. I feel like this is one of those bosses that will be hard if you overthink him. Yeah, I can see how people would struggle if they overthink and like, I have to sneak up there and depending on the move, I have to do a different technique to fight him. It's, no, just whack and jump away. Whack and jump away. Whack and jump away. That was the quickest boss we've done. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. So that headline there said, Hot Fiery Latina puts Fiery Panda to jail, which indicates that in the English version she's meant to be Latina. But in the Swedish version, which Kibia showed me cutscene from, she has a French twang to her accent, which is rather interesting. I will say, you, Fire in the Sky, were easier than this, and this, and this. I will say you were the second easiest, you were the third, you were the hardest so far. I don't know about you yet. This is eating a hot dog with Bentley. He's not good at his own space anymore. No. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, please go down below and check me out elsewhere. Also, a big thanks to the Biscuit Brown official friends, that is Jasper, Ars, Kitten and Kibby. They are all awesome and amazing, please go check them out too. Last but not least, big thank you to everyone who has supported me over on the Kofi slash Coffee, because I say it wrong.